Hey guys, what's up? Josh Mall with Swimming Pool Science. It's been a while. It's good to see you guys again. It's been uh, quite a busy winter. I've been working on some other projects that have taken me away from the pool videos, but uh, trying to get back into it. And uh, today I want to talk about high temp unions. I am installing a Pentair Teleflow VSF, replacing a very old first generation Pentair Whisperflow pump here at a good customer's house. And we are getting away from the old CPVC and Schedule 80 nipples. And uh, we have been really digging these over the last year and a half or so. Uh, they got a couple cool things going on here. Not only do you have the threads here that you can um, seal up the threads and screw them down, but they've also got this O-ring right here. So you get double the seal. If this ever gets hot or shrinks or changes, that O-ring takes up the slack on making that nice seal on the pump so that you don't have problems like we're having with this pump. Also, the fact that I can take this apart, if this union ever has any issues, I can always unscrew this and replace this part right here or I can just unscrew this and replace this o-ring really easily if this o-ring ever cracks and goes bad plus I've got this seal right here that's totally replaceable and uh, they just make a really really cool really really cool new part that uh, just makes life easier for us pool guys and just makes it a little nicer for the homeowner saves money in the long run so uh, that's what we're gonna do so uh, real quick I'll show you what we got going here and why we like to replace these and you can see here these two pumps I have. One already has a high temp union on it and it's screwed all the way down so that that O-ring seals. Plus you get a little bit of the pipe dope on there that does a nice job of sealing. This guy got a little hot. And as you can see with that play, that is not gonna cut it because that just leaks like a sieve. And fly. And uh, you, know, you get the same issue here at the front of the pump where um, when this gets hot and this shrinks back, then all of a sudden you're starting to suck air here and the pump runs dry and the seal goes bad and it's just catastrophe from there because you just have a big meltdown where everything warps and melts and uh, you end up having to replace lots of stuff if you don't catch it early enough. So uh, we're going to replace uh, this guy with a new Pentair VSF pump, which is, allows us to not only control the speed, but we can also control the flow rate, which is really cool because... If we set this thing for flow rates and we want to move 45 gallons a minute, no matter how full these baskets get or the uh, pump baskets get or the skimmer baskets here, you know, when you have a sizu tree growing right over the top of your swimming pool and it is in full bloom, uh, you want this pool to still be able to circulate. So our really awesome Pentair variable speed and flow pump will get the job done for us and save this customer a lot of money, not only in maintenance, but in electric bills. Now, even though I've got the O-ring on here, I still like to use a little bit of thread sealer on these. I don't get too crazy because this stuff can get goopy. Now, on the old nipples that we used to use, we just used to goop these up like crazy, man. And the stuff would get everywhere no matter how hard you try. This stuff still would get on your hands and it would just drive me crazy. So... Get a nice, don't need to goof it up, just a nice even amount. And then it's just a matter of threading it in there, but not cross threading it. Sometimes it's easy to start cross threading these, so just take your time getting that screwed in. And you can pull this off too while you're threading this in. If you gotta just snug it with a pair of pliers, you can do that, but you wanna be careful too because this is still plastic stuff and you don't want to break it. You throw this in too tight, you stress everything out. So I really just like to go really just hand tight. And then that's ready to go. And then got this O-ring here and this rubber seal. Not really an O-ring, more of a seal. But this is what keeps it all together along with that O-ring. That's back up in there. snug this down not make it super tight but we'll snug it all together because the other thing we got to worry about now is that we start gluing this glue will sometimes pool up in here instead of running out it's gonna run this way and what we don't want is any glue on the faces of that seal that rubber seal in there so we want everything to not have any glue so we snug this down so that if any glue does run over here It'll stay running over the top, and then when it dries, we can break it loose. But those faces that actually do the real sealing, 
aren't going to have any glue on it that will damage any of those surfaces that we need to be perfectly flat. You can see here how all these surfaces are really, really machined perfectly. Well, they're not machined, but they're molded really perfectly. See how perfectly flat that is? It's almost got a nice shine to it. So once again, important, we don't want to get any glue on there at all. Well, here we go. We got our unions installed and our brand new pump in. And the cool thing is, is if I uh, if I goof something up here and I didn't tighten down these unions, once again, once they're installed, all I gotta do is back this off and I can just snug these down with a set of channel locks if I need to, just to tighten that up. Because, um, you know, over here with a, a nipple, if I don't tighten that down and I plumb it in, that's it, it's done. I gotta cut it out and start over. So, um, you know, they're great, they're working well. They're dialed in and uh, Cool nerds, I know what you're saying here. Gee, that's plumbed a little tight. You should have backed it up. Well, um, this is actually a really tiny swimming pool. It's right over the fence, right there. And uh, the, plumb the uh, equipment's super close. And uh, we're maxing this thing out at 60 gallons a minute. So uh, the two inch plumbing, as you know, has a flow rate of about 200 gallons a minute. And our TR100 sand filter runs at about 74 gallons a minute. So once again, this thing only running at 60 gallons per minute. As you can see, no turbulence in the pot or anything like that. So we are kosher for this purpose. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.